Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the, the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I said Divination and the High Priestess came out. <laughs> you are greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Oh my goodness. This is not looking good. There is absolutely someone or a group of people that are absolutely burdened and weighed down uh, about you knowing something or you being vigilant or you knowing about a plan or something they've been uh, doing behind the scenes. Excuse me. Someone is out here losing sleep. It could be a kink of source that's losing a lot of sleep, uh, trying to stay kind of alert. Someone is living in a lot of anxiety with a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear on how to approach you, how to communicate with you because this person knows you are quite quick with it, very sharp with it. You're sharper than a two-edged sword, so they know they cannot come in your energy with any kind of BS, right? Someone may want to balance something out for you, but they know that they did something to you in the past or behind the scenes that you know what they did you know what this person invested in and they tried to damage or destroy something you may have invested in and now they may want to communicate with you about some type of offer they want to give you uh, to help you kind of secure your victory um, but they know you don't trust them and this is why they are burdened behind the scenes because you are aware of every action this person was taking behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending still stagnation, whatever it is, right? Some type of confusion. This could be someone that was lying to a lot of people about you, doing a lot of manipulation to hold you back, hold your finances back hold any type of opportunities back, trying to interfere with your independence, trying to shut you up and things like that and block you from being able to manifest and connect with other people. But you've been protected the whole time, all right, the whole time by the universe from all of these uh, illusions and things like that. Yeah, there are people that got uh, jumped on the bandwagon when this king of source was doing all of this behind the scenes and you possibly were not aware, but there's something going on now where it's that balance is being brought into a situation or... Someone behind the scenes could be living in some type of fear uh, because the truth is out. Every action they were taking behind the scenes or the lies they were telling, everything is out. The truth is out and people see you for who you are and they know that you are someone divine, someone angelic and you are heavily protected, right? And things are being balanced out in your favor again, right? Things are being balanced out. OK, and this is causing a tower for these people because you had some type of victory coming in. Right. You and someone may be meeting. Uh, this could be someone that's like a past life connection for you, a soulmate or something like that. Or this is just someone that's having very fond memories of you from the past that maybe you used to chat with. But they have clarity now. Right. About what a king of one was doing behind the scenes with a whole community to cause your burdens. Right. Um, so someone is quite aware of all the actions these people have been taking. And it's the fact that they see you as an empress energy and you know, the empresses as nice as they are, they can be a little bit intimidating for people that are insecure, people that are not sure of themselves. So when they meet at empresses, they think that they're supposed to come together. Yeah. They're supposed to come to, excuse me. They're supposed to come together to cause you stagnations and loss, but it looks like this is what this group is going through because of some type of impulsive actions uh, they've been taking. And I'm trying, uh, and I'm being told to emphasize the S on that. So these people have done numerous things, right? To cause you hindrances, stagnations, and things like that. So this king of swords may want to come in now and balance something out. And maybe this is something you don't see. Or maybe he's afraid that you are going to be kind of hesitant to even interact with him. Someone may be being sent towards you by an emperor from behind the scenes. Maybe an emperor is being logical about a situation and trying to see it from a higher perspective. Because he may be losing quite a lot behind the scenes. Or he sees you as the truth. And he knows that whatever people have been doing trying to defeat you cause you losses and every action they took every last one of them including the emperor himself is under judgment 
but he understands now everything that they've been doing was undeserved. Like you didn't do anything to these people. Someone may have just told some type of big fat lie or a little white lie at the start of this whole journey. And it has been blown out of proportion. And now something has been turned, has been escalated or has escalated to a, a level that it should never excuse me, that it never should have escalated to, but you are still staying and maintaining your power in this situation. You are still maintaining your composure, right? Because you understand as above, so below. So whatever it is that's taking place, uh, it has already been balanced out in the, in the spirit and it's going to be balanced out in the physical. So maybe they're sending this king of swords towards you right? Because maybe they want to collaborate with you now, but I don't think you should collaborate with these people because this is like two different kingdoms coming together. They're trying to take some type of action to block you. Okay. Maybe even bring you issues that you don't got nothing to do with. Um, they're trying to block, a block some type of, a good karma for you. And all of these people are under judgment, right? There could be a community that has some type of legalities going on or has some type of legalities coming out. A lot of them are going through this right here, or this is what's coming up for them. There's an empress in this uh, community that's going through some type of ending. She may be losing a home, losing her stability, losing quite a lot behind the scenes. This could be someone's wife, someone's mother. I don't know what this is. Someone's baby mama. Maybe she collaborated with a group of people, right, to interfere with some type of love a uh, connection between two people they may have done something to hold someone back and keep them from giving you some type of offer of commitment and things like that someone was trying to heal but they didn't want to heal so they temper with someone being able to give you an offer in the past and now they're all binded to this situation and going through some type of ending while they're planning your ending make it make sense it never will I don't know what the heck this is. This chapter is almost over or I'm being told it's over, but there is someone in this community still trying to drag it out. So they may be doing something behind the scenes that other people are not aware of. Maybe this emperor is not aware of it. And someone is telling a lot of lies, causing a lot of illusions and saying that they are being practical. They've changed, right? They're acting in the upright or something like that. They're, they're bringing balance into a situation when they really aren't. They are actually trying to cause a tower behind the scenes for you. And they're out here lying to the community that they're not doing anything anymore. Someone is very much weighed down. But rest assured, whatever action they take against you, you are protected. You will be fine. You don't really need any. You don't really need to do anything. You are absolutely protected. You are set to grow, thrive, elevate in life. You may be receiving some type of positive news, some type of good news of commitment or an offer. Um, I say thread with caution. Okay, thread with caution because there's some type of offer coming towards you that will lead to you being in some type of sticky situation, lead to you being in a in, in a, a a bond like they're trying to bind you so these people basically are saying if we cannot defeat her then we would take her we will take him as in they will have you join their community and you'll be bonded to them not just this lifetime but multiple lifetimes all right uh so be so be careful because there is some type of false hierophant which is crazy because i have the ten of swords and the hierophant out here there's some type of false religious character behind the scenes that's planning <clears throat> your ending excuse me i'm choking on that i guess they don't want that coming out this is a whole community going through endings but they're still trying to plot your ending and they're way down because it's like everything you do everything they do you know i'm telling you everything they do right everything they do you know and they're still trying to come up with new ways on how they can steal from you, block you, and you have a higher awareness than they do because you're the one that's gifted. These people don't really have any gifts. These are people that have to go to other practitioners, right? They have to go to practitioners to get the understanding of what it is that's going on, what's going to happen. These are people that pay a lot of money for readings and things like that. Even if they have a practitioner in their community, she charges them a hefty amount for her practices, which I'm telling you, <laughs> oh, baby, I don't blame her. That, that's a whole lot of negative energy to be pulling on. And oh, that's a lot of negative work. Oh, my Lord. Because there are people in this community that are absolutely, 
I, I heard smitten or obsessed by you, with you, whatever it is. But this chapter is over and they're going to have to accept that, that uh, a reality that balance is being brought into this situation. There could be some type of court case that results out of this. Uh, so there could be a court case coming up. Yeah, there could be a court case coming up. Um, there's something about, I don't know, defamation, some type of slander, lying, thievery. Someone may have stolen something that belongs to you. Yeah, there's a court case going on because someone stole or a court case coming up because someone stole something that belongs to you. Or they may have forged your signature or something like that. So there is some type of court case coming up. Okay, and this is going to go in your favor. You will have wish fulfillment and this is going to lead to some type of growth for you. Okay, um, so just just know that again, I have like three cars out here and these people are absolutely way down. But your ancestors want you to keep pushing forward as well because this cycle is absolutely over. Uh, you may not know it. You may not feel like it, but it's over. Your enemies are just trying to drag it out. Your ancestors want you to know it's over. It's already over in the spirit realm. It's manifesting in the physical, okay? But this whole group, whoever this is that's coming towards you, that's watching you, you got a few people that are watching you, living in fear, maybe going to go do another moon ritual, whatever this is. I don't know why these people never get tired of doing moon rituals. Why they can just never be practical about the situations that they're in. You cause mayhem for yourself. Obviously, you want the mayhem to stop. What do you got to do? Stop causing mayhem for yourself, right? Try to see things from a higher perspective. But again, these people are under judgment and they're pissed off because you're getting wish fulfillment. Your ancestors have decided you will receive what is yours okay queen of cups you are going to receive what is yours justice is in your favor balance is being brought into this situation and it's causing a lot of emotions behind the scenes especially with the fact that they know you are protected and you are standing your ground against a bunch of narcissists and still investing in your future in your business in your life whatever this is you still have the audacity to go for it okay um baby this is too much, too much, and too much. What in the world is this community? Anything you are investing in, it will be abundant. You are about to be thriving in life. Some of you are about to get married. This whole group is going to have to move on. I don't know how else to tell them. <coughs> They're out here fighting about people, two people coming together or someone being abundant. They're trying to keep someone in some type of toxic mindset. But whatever it is you are investing in, it absolutely will be successful and abundant. You will be fulfilled in life. Okay? Uh, there's just, <clears throat> What I'm getting is that, excuse me, is that someone don't want this message coming out? There is someone behind the scenes that you may not be aware of that is absolutely burdened by the fact that they are seeing you for the truth. That they know now that you are an actual empress. You are the truth. You aren't lying, pretending to be anything you're not. What people see is what you get. You may be a little bit straightforward, but you are very genuine at heart. You may have some type of connection coming in from an emperor, some type of offer coming in from an emperor who's going on a trip. Maybe he's coming towards you or he's going to go seek guidance about some type of action that may have been taken against you in the past and he's wanting to fix that or something like that. Some type of action by a community, his friends, his group. I don't know what this is, but there's an emperor that wants to give you an offer. He may be going through a loss right now. I just, I was, I would be mindful. Something keeps, I'm, I'm being told to tell some of you, move alone. Do it alone. Don't rely on a group, on a community. Because there's a plot to end you. There's some type of superficial offer they want to come in with and give you. And it's going to lead to nothing but loss. This is a false offer. This is an absolute false offer. You are okay where you are right now. Whatever you need will be provided to you. Your independence is secure. Your self-sufficiency is secure. Everything is secure. Your cup will run it over at the due time. So don't be in a hurry to receive or accept any type of offer from anyone. Um, I don't know. Don't be in a hurry to accept anything from anyone. It may be just to come in and cause you nothing but burdens and weigh you down. Okay? Keep working and moving forward. 
and you will receive your ten of pentacles in due time everything you invest in will be successful continue to stand your ground against these narcissists right this is a whole community of narcissists they are going up against you and trying to destroy your livelihood your future because they don't have much of a future they're, they're stuck where they are they are stuck where they are like that sword king arthur's sword in that stone that's how stuck those people are and i don't know who's coming to pull the sword out but it ain't you collective and their leader is absolutely not going to be pulling that sword out because why uh he benefits from the sword being stuck in the freaking stone so why would he pull it out so he could go through some type of loss and have to start all over no 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 he's gonna leave that sword right in that stone he said now nah, you are where you belong but he knows you don't belong in his community they know i'm telling you they know you don't belong in that community so he can't come in and force you uh and he has to be mindful they have to be mindful of whatever actions they're taking because it can lead to a tower for them. They can cause you a tower, but your tower will be temporary, but theirs will be permanent. It will be permanent. Absolutely. So whatever impulsive actions they want to take, they may want to be careful. All these rituals, all these uh, spell works and things like that, they need to really, really thread with caution. Okay, uh, you may not see that there's some type of message coming towards you. There's a queen, there's an empress going through some type of ending. You could have some type of message coming towards you about a court case that's going on that you may not be aware of. Uh, someone may be trying to sue someone. I don't know what it is. They're trying to decide, okay, if they want to sue someone or if they're going to sue someone. I don't know what this has to do with. Again, it could have to do with some type of thievery, some type of theft. Um, but someone is also trying to decide if they want to meet with you. Queen of Cups, if you're going to reject them, accept them, whatever it is, because you know what this person is. And I don't think you have any type of contract with this person, so you may not want to force it. Someone may just be coming in your life to cause a tower, or they're going through a tower, and they think connecting with you is going to help restore them. No, someone is weighed down because of actions they took against you. They took some type of action against an Empress energy. So, if you decide to work with this person you're going to be taking on their karma this could be a king of cups that's absolutely going through some type of ending and is trapped in some type of karmic situation karmic relationship because of some type of foolish decision he made to choose a karmic over someone genuine okay this is this yeah right there this is what he's in this is what he had before or this is what he could have had but he made the wrong decision he turned his back on an actual queen of cups and chose someone and now someone else and now he's not happy with the decision and that's his problem that's his bed that he made let's let him lay in there because that's how he'll learn you can't run to save people every time they get themselves in a hole especially they did it voluntarily with their full senses intact all of their senses intact no 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 he thought about it and he said that was the best option for him so let him learn yeah let him learn there's a woman in here that's losing her SHIT behind the scenes because you will be receiving this offer from the Most High. You will be receiving your Ace of Pentacles offer. It is something that is being protected for you. Uh, so when all of this is over, your ancestors are saying, hey, you remember that Ace of Pentacles we said belonged to our child? Yeah, we're going to need that. Time to give it back. So this is if someone stole something from you, someone blocked something, they're going to have to release it. They're going to have to return it to you, right? They're going to have to give it back to you. And I think people in this community, this family, they are aware. You will be successful. You will elevate. You are protected. Like, there's, that, that's, that's just what it is. That, 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 that's just what it is. You will have this new beginning in love, friendship, business. You will be a wife. Some of you are already mothers. If you're w trying to be a mother, you will be a mother. Like, everything is coming towards you really fast. <laughs> And the karmics are fighting as always. So I don't know what the heck to tell you all karmics in karmic veil. Like just let it be. What, what does that song say? You just got to let it be, let it be, let it be. Just let it be. It's like someone out here, you are every queen in the deck. A high priestess as well. 
Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. And you're having a brand new passionate beginning in success, in love. And it has people losing their SHIT here out uh, uh, in this community. There could be a King of Wands putting an end to having lots of options in women. This is someone that was very vain, uh, moving from woman to woman. He's putting an end to that, possibly. Maybe he wants to heal for you. Uh, it's usually best for you to heal for yourself. That's more of a permanent reason and a more logical reason to heal. Because if you heal for someone else, there's no guarantee you and that person will be together forever. Um, but he wants to do this because he wants some type of commitment with you, right? Someone is trying to improve themselves. So kudos to him for wanting to heal. But I always advise that you need to heal for yourself. This is what this man wants with you. Wants to come in and give to you right build with you share with you you and all of that so anyways yeah i don't know what this what the heck this is this could be someone that was working against you before causing a lot of illusions maybe he wants to reach out and apologize to you about that um that's going to be interesting let's do our oracle card readings and our angel numbers uh oracle cards and we can say goodbye until next time Okay, what do we have here? Source, what is your advice to us? Okay. Sometimes I try usually get to get one of the, the colorful cards out, the divine compass card out too. And the magic of letting go. Oh yeah, there's someone that needs to let go in the collective. We have 17, 8, the number of abundance. It said the quality of work you can produce. When you are going at it alone, it's almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I am independent. And this is something that plays a lot into why these people are coming after you. There are people within a specific community that has a problem with why, with the fact that someone is independent. So they want to weigh you down and interfere with all of your resources. But for some reason, you keep growing, right? And they keep trying to take actions to end everything you are working on, your life, goals, relationship, anything. They're trying to end it, but you keep going through some type of rebirth every time they take action, and you keep getting stronger and stronger, right? And now you have some type of commitment coming in, and you've manifested some type of new reality for yourself that's going to be very fulfilling. And now maybe they want to come in and breadcrumb you, but they're pissed off because someone wants to give to you right and someone wants to share with you because they see you as someone very genuine and things like that and they see you as wish fulfillment could be a kink of source or i don't know who the heck this is but i feel like there's a kink of source that wants to balance something out behind the scenes and maybe it's just taking him a while because it's like he's going through some type of change himself he's burdened by something but there's something where your independence your self-sufficiency plays a role in why people are coming after you. They want you to need them. Somebody wants you to need them. There could be like an ex in this situation that wants you to need him or need her, but you don't and it's eating at them. So they want to destroy you. They want you to be codependent because this is someone that's heavily codependent. Uh, they operate on codependency. Someone likes when people can call them and say, oh, you know, I thought I would, I would make it without you, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to. Someone is waiting for that day that you'll reach out to them and say that you want to get back with them or you need them or something. Honey, they're going to be waiting for that day until they're this. Okay? It ain't happening. So I pray that you are... So, uh, so you, you stay self sufficient in life and you are ever abundant and balanced and healed and focus on things that are higher in life, right? Things that are fulfilling in life. Non nonsense about being codependent on people. You're not meant to be codependent. Okay. You are protected. 16 sums down to 17 to seven, the number of protection and luck. You have people or uh, beings of the angelic realm watching over you. So you are heavily protected. It said you have an inquisitive mind. Excuse me. You have an equisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. 
I am perceptive. And there's something also I was getting in here. People don't like the fact that you are so freaking sharp and uh, quick witted. Like your perception, you are very perceptive. So people know they can just come in and tell you some type of lie and you're going to go with it. They know you're going to see things from a higher perspective. You're going to see the truth, their true motives, their true intentions. So they're not able to come in and just, you know, feed you some type of BS. Okay. It says saving grace. Okay. Forgiving yourself and others heals the wounds and sets you free. Release burdens. And I think there's someone in our collective that's struggling with that. Let go. Let go. Okay. Sometimes when we're told we need to forgive, you say, why should I forgive them? You're not forgiving for the person. You're forgiving for yourself because while well, you deserve to live a fulfilling life, it is a burden to be walking around holding a lot of animosity within yourself. Okay. Holding on to past hurts, traumas, and things like that. You're walking around pissed off at people that are getting a good night's sleep. But you are missing out on sleep because you want them to know that they hurt you, they did this to you, they did that to, the, to you. A lot of the times you don't realize just even letting those people know that they hurt you gives them a sickening thrill. Like they're happy that they know they caused you some type of hurt. They cause you some type of disadvantage. That's why you need to heal and stop looking for closure and for uh, looking for people to say sorry. Because oftentimes when people say they're sorry, they don't even mean that they're sorry. A lot of adults out here don't even know how to say they're sorry genuinely. They don't know how to apologize because those are not skills that were taught to us in school. Those are not uh, uh, tools that were given to us by society for us to utilize adequately. So you're waiting for stories that are either not coming or that are your, a waste of your time. So learn to forgive. Okay. Forgive yourself first. Once you can forgive yourself, stop, stop blaming yourself for things that happened, what didn't happen, what you could have done, what you couldn't have done. It, let that go. There's someone in my collective. You are like, you're destroying yourself with your mental. Like, you stay in your mental so much. Your childhood is hunting you. There's a masculine that watches me. Your childhood hunts you and it keeps hunting you. And I don't, and I'm not going into your personal experiences. That's none of my business. But until you face those demons, you're not going to be able to be the best version of yourself. You want to be happy in life and you want to heal and be able to, you know, share with the world, right? Live a fulfilling life, be in an abundant relationship, a fulfilling relationship, a happy relationship, right? Where your partner is your friend and you two are committed and loyal together, can grow together and things like that, right? Support one another, stand in your power and things like that and go through experiences together. But for some reason, your mental, your mental, your mental is holding you back and you need to learn how to heal from that. Talk to someone, stop holding everything in, go to someone outside of your community because there are people around you that don't give two hits about you because they themselves are walking around with a lot of baggages they are refusing to let go of so they cannot help you. Go outside of your community. There is no one around you in your community that can help you. Not even your spiritual leader. From what I'm seeing, your spiritual leader has baggages he's dealing with. And he's not wanting to let go. Not uh, willing to let go. Unable to face them. He's living in denial. He will rather put them off and act like they're not there. Because if he does not show any emotions or he pretends like it's not bothering him, then they don't exist. But they do. Your leader is suffering as well, just like you are. So go get help. Do it, in, do it discreetly if you don't want people to know. Do it discreetly. Okay? Okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.